Welcome back, everybody, to the Rosalind Exchange Let's Play. It is episode three, and today we are going to continue our way down to a good mining level, and uh, hopefully establishing a bit of a food source. Seems a uh, night has been rather interesting. A lot more zombies than expected. Oh. And we have a visitor. So. Uh, we have mobs everywhere. That's fun. Mm, that was the point of putting all these torches down, but we won't worry about that. They probably spawned out in this section in front. Um... And I think our small project for today, while we could be breeding the cows and making that happen, I think I want to get a chicken. And I think we're going to try to make a bit of an automatic chicken farm. Come here. This will probably kill me. Oh, close enough. So much rotten flesh everywhere. So, to find a chicken. Really what we're going to want is the eggs. And there doesn't seem to be one near us. Of course we have sheep right next, right next to us. The whole point of the last episode. Oh well. Let's see. If we head out to new chunks, there's a chance that we'll find something closer to what we're looking for. Though we'll have to see what the world border looks like. It should be pretty interesting, considering that there's about a year's worth of development between the uh, the different bits of world generation. While we're at it, I'll probably just try to get myself some more seeds. Ah, there's the edge of the world. Oh, it doesn't look terrible. It's actually kind of interesting. It still has just enough mountain to look relatively interesting. Ooh, that's a fun little floating block. Yeah, now we have two tall grass and new flowers. We've got some horses generated. That looks much better. Huh. Not terrible chunk borders. They're, I mean, they're pretty bad, but not nearly as bad as they could be. Let's put a torch over here so we know that's where we're climbing down from. Soonish. 
Mm, that looks like there's a, a wild animal spawn over there. Any luck? No luck. Mm, that's a shame. We might borrow some mutton and feed ourselves before we go to sleep. No chickens yet. It's kind of interesting. Of course, we're going to need to get ourselves a bucket of lava. Uh, I think a bit of redstone. We are going to need some string. We're going to need to go after those... Uh, no, it's seagrass. It's not kelp. It's a shame. Uh, we are going to need to go after those spiders that are near our house. But that's okay. One more, and then we'll start setting up camp for the night. So, in this little bit of early game, I guess the, the whole point of survival is to end up with enough resources to um, not really have any issues. So, we'll probably craft a couple crafting benches, set that up open this thing. We're gonna want another furnace. Oh, we don't have enough stone. Hmm, that's a shame. Doesn't seem to be super readily accessible either. Aha, here we go. A tiny but probably very dangerous cave. I'm just gonna take one of you. Next, we're going to want to put our mutton in with, I don't know, as many wood planks as it takes. Half as many wood takes as it takes. Um, bed. We want a bed. What? <laughs> And we'll use that whenever the sun finally comes down. We're cooking some food. Okay. Then, with just a little bit of time left in our hand, we'll farm up some more of this. Let's see if we can find ourselves a chicken. I haven't heard any chickens yet, so it doesn't bode terribly well. dangerous hole. I do believe... Oh yeah, we're in a flower forest. Have to look at that. Get ourselves some of these two high flowers, just for funsies. Do you see it? Well, besides the bees... Borrow one of these. Hi! We're not going to bug them. But the chicken. We are going to bug the chicken. Hi! There are several of you. Hello. Well, with... Oh my goodness! With a whole horde of chickens, we will make our way back to our base. This is useful. So you can breed them with these seeds, which is part of the reason why I was uh, collecting seeds on the way over here. But we need to do this and get back to this bed before the sun sets and before we lose everybody. Which is dangerous. All right, everybody, come on through. Single file line. 
I might be leaving some of you in the dust because we need to hit the bed. All right, we'll come back to get these these guys in a second. We need food because we can't run anymore, and we need to sleep before mobs start to show up. And yeah, no mobs, and we have food. Perfect. Alright. Now, let's get all these chickens back to our base, which should be relatively interesting. <laughs> oh my, this is quite an image. Alright, well these guys are causing much less problems than I expected to. I expected them to whenever we started having to uh, solve the question. Now, the real issue, can they swim? Come on. Nope. Doesn't, doesn't look like it. That's uh, not great. Let's... Build them a bridge. Ah. Come here. You come here. Word. Hey. Hey there, guys. Come back. Come here. You can make it. Alright. Now, I'm sure that there are easier ways to do this, like carrying eggs back to our base or whatever it is, but we don't have enough uh, access to those eggs for me to think that we can do that as easily as walking around. Hi! I'll take one of these. Any extras? Mm, there's one chicken over here that's really gung-ho about walking away. All right. Thank you. All right, we got four, we got four. Backstreet's back, all right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow, those three. Well, nah, I spoke too soon. You, get up on the dirt. Come on. This is going to take forever. <laughs> Half of our day is gone, and we're not even past our, our little forward base over there. I think... Yeah. Once we get them over to this side, I'm going to run back, grab my bed, and then try to do this again. You, come on. That sounded like somebody laid an egg. Hmm. I heard a zombie. Come on. Mm, for all right y'all stay right here i'll be back in literally a second not literally a second maybe a couple of seconds give me this back and you know what why not well actually we'll leave these here just just in case i do want my wood though all right Angles. Mm. 
we have three chickens. There's the fourth chicken. Welcome to the flock. Okay, there's our little staircase that we used before. Yeah, after after we've kind of established a kind of survival parody, um, then I'll start cutting out some of the grindier bits. Hi, get over here. Some of the grindier bits like collecting resources for builds, collecting food, that kind of stuff. But while we're still here in the first couple of days, I think it's at least worthwhile to show for maybe some viewers who either don't have the game yet or who are still trying to figure out just how to make it through the first uh, couple of days, um, how to do it. Or at least how I do it. <laughs> of course, there are literally countless number of ways to, uh, to survive. Man, their line of sight really does get obscured by the grass, doesn't it? This is how I do it. Wow. I thought that would take a lot more work. Sun, okay, not bad. Using our daylight effectively. You. So, I could have used uh, leashes for this, lassos, leashes, however they're called, but uh, I haven't found uh, any slimes yet, and I really haven't been working towards getting string either. Mm, yeah, there's the boundary, so we're going to walk around this way. I'm going to pick up this little bit. You. Always one straggler. <laughs> I do love how they get in a line and walk together. Oop. Oop. Yeah, so they make a noise every time they lay an egg. Slow, slow going. What are you two doing? You. It's slow and they sometimes get distracted. Hmm. We're back into the older generation now. within reach. Nope. What are you doing? You. You. Nope. What are you doing? Get rid Yeah. The grass really does mess with their pathfinding. And we're close. That is a dangerous hole right there. Honestly, walking backwards should be one of these. Ooh! A dungeon. No, 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 no. Far away. Okay, well, we lost one of them. No way we're gonna save him anytime soon. <laughs> Darn my distraction. Well, besides that one chicken that decided to go on for his solo career. <gasps> Hi! A new one. Welcome! We can always hire a new lead singer. Whenever uh, the last one decides to go on for that solo career. Too convenient. Let's go this way. We got a loose bit of dirt from where a sheep ate some grass. 
That's kind of interesting. We'll probably take advantage of that at some point to make a bit of a wool farm. Whoop. Hello. Come here. All right. We made it. And the sun is just now starting to set. Nice. Hey. I thought I saw a loose one over here. Yep, I did. Alright, to make sure that we don't have any... Anything bad happen. Oh no, they're running, running in every direction. Get back here. Stupid chickens. Here, here. Got one lost way over the hill. Hi, welcome back. Where are you going? Hmm? Then we lost one. As a whole. Great. You. Come here. We're gonna put y'all in a pen. Y'all are gonna collect me some eggs. Eh, we'll get that one later. No. Man, they walk with such purpose. Hmm. Gimme. Okay. So this first group, we're gonna put into an elevated pen. Do we have any extra blocks? We have extra gravel. Well, sure, we'll work with that. Get in there. All right, we have one of them wrangled. Number two. You in two. Let's get our solo singer. I have no idea where the fourth went. We'll find them eventually, I'm sure. And you. Mm, fuck you. Oh, oh, oh. There. All right. We have a chicken coop. And if we dig out the sides, there's a chance that we can collect the eggs by kind of bumping into each of the corners. And we're going to break this block so that no mobs jump inside. And we're going to do a little bit of parkour. I am going to drop a torch in there just, you know, for safety's sake. And then, let's get some of these breeding. <laughs> the parrots and the bats, nice. And chuck some eggs in here. Nothing new, oh well. Okay, so that is some food that is happening. Hmm. Nope, those aren't quite done yet. I can use up all of these seeds because um, the chickens are going to kind of naturally multiply by eating their way through a whole bunch of, uh, well, by, by generating eggs. So we don't need to use the seeds to make more of them. I just, you know, had some, so I might as well. Um, mm, rotten flesh doesn't really help a ton for food, but uh, 
but it does help some. Ah, uh, okay, so this is the color that they look like in this resource pack. I got this uh, as um, a Vanilla Tweaks resource pack from the Zuma Void. So um, it's, it's really useful for stuff like redstone where you can have like directional hoppers, directional sticky pistons that you can see from any direction, which is super useful for the other series that we're doing with the uh, music cathedral. And, um, and yeah, it apparently makes the, uh, the wheat and stuff look slightly different. Um, so it's, it's about to be high noon and uh, how did a pig get in here? Did we put a pig in here originally? Probably. Oh well. I do not understand. Oh well. Let's get the cows going. Uh, we'll worry about Mr. Piggy in a bit. And yeah. Oh, we got some experience out of the matter. Can y'all walk out? No. Good. That's how it should be. Okay. Except. The little one looks like it could run away. Oh well. Okay. Well, great. So we have the beginnings of a bit of a, uh, a chicken farm. Uh, oop, you heard that. That's an egg. So right now, I think what I'm going to focus on is getting enough iron to make a hopper and enough redstone to make a dispenser. I think that's what we need, not a dropper. Um, hop up here, chuck the egg in, because we want this, uh, this throwing of the eggs to be automatic. And we can do that through redstone. So, can only rest at night. We do have a good amount of resources. Dump the gravel, dump the flowers. We don't really, oh, here. We're gonna decorate with these. We don't really need them. They could be, you know, kind of useful in the future, uh, but not really anything for practical reasons. More, more decorative. Absolutely more decorative. Um, these shorter plants certainly aren't. Yeah. Dandelion, the tulip. These are single use. The oxide daisy is useful for pattern making for like banners and stuff. But we'll worry about that later. And now for. The rest of the episode, I think I'm going to go mining till we get to about Y15 and um, and make a hopper. And that will be the end of uh, today's episode. Well on our way to make a new chicken farm. Well, not super new, but yeah, you know, it gets the job done. Some torches on the bar. Nice. Darn misplaced blocks. With steps, you have to make sure you place it at the bottom. There we go.
Hey, we found our iron ore. This is going to be just the right amount to make a hopper and start automatically collecting those eggs from the chickens up above. So that's super nice. I thought that we would have to do, quite frankly, a lot more digging. But it seems iron is relatively plentiful. Now, once we can actually make an iron farm with iron golems, that, that's going to be nice. But that will be for quite some time from now, as I don't think that there are any, f any villages nearby that we can really take advantage of. Hmm? Hmm, you can hear all those, uh... those zombies nearby. I wonder if we have any spiders. Those would be useful. What do you have for trade? Mm -hmm. Nope. Only with emeralds. Can't trade him anything. That's a shame. They're really trying to get out. That's fun. You can see our wheat has grown a little, a little bit over the course of the evening. Um, I'm turning this into coal because coal is more efficient. Uh, it can smelt a full eight blocks per charcoal. And I'm using planks to actually cook it because it's like one and a half planks. Well, one plank will do like a block and a half or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Alright, um... Yeah, we do still have some of this so we can make a chest. Which is part of the recipe for the hopper. And we need five iron. You know what we're also going to do? We're going to get some sand. Because I want it to look nice. And uh, it'll actually help to also explain a little bit of how it works. So. With that, once we finish crafting this hopper, I think that that will be the end of our uh, episode. Thank you all so much for watching. It has been a pleasure, as always, and I hope that your week is going well. See you next time. Make sure to subscribe, like, do all the things. And yeah, looking forward to the next time. Bye-bye.